Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad, coming to you from uh, Barbados. Um, this beer I'm going to review it for you now is by a, a small microbrewery I found on the island and it's the uh, Brew House Barbados and I'm going to be reviewing the uh, Pelican Island IPA. This weighs in at a massive uh, 5% it says so on the bottom round there. There is no expiry date on this that I can find. Uh, this bottle, I bought a, I bought a load uh, from um, Wine World in Hull Town and it worked out about 10 uh, Beijing dollars for a, uh, a bottle. Uh, so, we'll give it a go, see what we get. So say on the back, it is an American uh, East Coast or New England style IPA, slightly cloudy with a tropical flavour, a uh, fruity aroma. Uh, one sip of this beer and you, um, oh sorry, one sip of this beer and your senses are overwhelmed with flavour. Grapefruit, peach, melon, tangerine, and you will wonder how the the, uh, the brewer managed to pack so much flavour into one of these beers. Uh, brewed with citra, mosaic, uh, citra and mosaic hops. Um, this IPA finishes smooth with a little or no bitterness. Don't be afraid of the haze. So I've got a few of these to do. Um, and this is obviously the first one. I'm not sure if they, these guys have been, been reviewed before on YouTube or anything like that. So let's pop it off. Let's see what we get. There's a couple down, down below. Oh, hello. A couple down below. Just got married. Let me see if I can just pick this up and show you. So if you can see, see down there. Got married on the beach today. Congratulations to whoever they are. Right. Give me a moment. There we go. So, beer in a glass. We've got. I've got. I've not got a pint glass. I. What is this? So why? What? There we go. That's better. So we've got a little small glass obviously. I've not been able to steal a glass from the bar yet. Leave that there. We've got a hazy orange beverage. Two fingers actually I've had. Very rugged. Looks quite nice. Does look like a New England, New England IPA for me. That's usually really cloudy and probably looks a bit like a juice bomb. With some orange aid, um, orange juice, that type of caper. Let's get a nose and see what we can smell. There is buckets of tropical fruit on that. We're getting citrus, we're getting uh, mango, we're getting passion fruit. There is a little bit of melon, there's peaches, there's uh, apricot, the old stone fruit scenario that, that you normally get with one of these. It says so on the back. So let's give it a taste, more importantly. Carbonation is really short, quite light. It's got a medium body on it. Taste wise, you're getting fruits, tropical fruitness, you're getting peaches, you're getting oranges, what you'd expect to get from an IPA to be fair. Not picking up the melon, but you get an apricot, you get mango. It tastes really, really good. I'm not bad for a micro brewery, to be honest with you. In what could be in a, a very, on a small island in the middle of the Caribbean. I could drink a lot of that. That is very, very good. These guys, just so you're aware, if you if you want to have a little look um, on the old internet, because there will be a link to the web page if you can get one, because the Wi-Fi here is a little bit ropey at the moment. Uh, it's brewed and bottled and distributed by the Brew House in Gibbons Industrial Park, Gibbons Barbados. There you go. So if you're ever over this way on a little bit of a holiday. They don't do it, they've not got a tap room, they don't do it be at all. 
but they will certainly, if you email them, they'll tell you where to go and buy these. I got this out of Wine World in Hull Town. I say it was nine ninety nine uh, Bayesian dollars, which I think works out to probably around about six English pounds, um, maybe five US dollars. That's worth every penny for me. So I will go away, drink this, get back to the beach. Bit more of a holiday. I'll see you in the next one. Hell yeah.